naive one. So today in this lesson, we are going to have a look at exercise and sports, right? Let's have a look at the first activity. Practice question one, sports and games. Look at the picture cards below and choose the correct name for each sport, right? After we match them, then we can have a look at the pronunciation. Right, so let's have a look at the first one. This one here is American football, okay? Um, there's only a very slight difference in terms of what they wear. I'll show it to you in a bit, right? Um, American football. Next one is swimming. Next one is um, badminton. Badminton. Next one is baseball. Next one is basketball. Next one is climbing. Next one, cricket. Next one is cycling. Next one is football. So you can see here, American football is a bit of a different attire. And then this is normal football. This is golf. This is ice hockey. This one here, ice hockey. This one is um, tennis. That's a tennis ball. Next one, table tennis. Next one is running. Next one is skateboarding. And the last one is volleyball. That's a volleyball. Okay. Then you can pronunciation. And you can also say American football. The ball is different to this one. Okay. A tie is also different. Ball is also different. Right. Okay. So let's have a look at the pronunciation. Right. American football. Again. Football. Okay, sw what? Okay, swimming, badminton, baseball, basketball, climbing, cricket, cycling, football, golf. Okay, golf, ice hockey, tennis. Table tennis, running, skateboarding, volleyball. Okay, again I run through it. Okay, make a vocab lesson neka kinda. I want you to make sure that you get the pronunciation properly. Okay, the godak pelava the speaking multi in the pulwa matrukava kinda. Okay. American football, swimming, badminton, baseball. Basketball, climbing, cricket, cycling, football, golf, ice hockey, tennis, table tennis, running, skateboarding, volleyball. 
right? All right, so let's have a look at the next question. That's how we do sports. Look at the picture cards below and complete the two columns in the sentence table. Columns where and how often, right? In a gym, gym mekina. Time frame meka how often, right? Kuchra kaale ke saare adhe meka karane. Twice a week. In a swimming pool. Where do you do in a swimming pool? You swim every Saturday. On a badminton court. What do you play there? Badminton once a week, right? On a baseball field. Baseball play karanama twice a week. On a ski slope. Skiing once a month. On a golf course, you play golf every morning. In a dojo, once or twice a week. It's like you do karate. Okay. On a cycle track, cycling every day. On a basketball court, every evening. In a boxing ring, every Friday boxing. On an ice ring, skating once a week. On a football pitch, you play football thrice times a week. That is three times a week. Okay? So the sport, verb plus the sport, where and how often. Okay? So this one, play golf. Where do you play golf? Mm. On a golf course every morning. On a golf course. Now, make a matter of the agana, be beaten yak and away karane golf course, okay, right? Akar tamai vocab ugana, so that you understand what each sport is. And where are you played? And if you want to talk about the frequency, I do it once a week, every Monday, thrice a week, okay, once a month. So any frequencies right? So that you are able to use different vocabulary. Okay, every month, every month. I think it was every morning. Yeah, every morning. Hamadamu data. So this is do exercise So let's see where we do it in a gym twice a week So in a gym twice a week Next one Go skating. Where do you go skating? On an ice rink once a week. Next one. Play baseball. Where do you play baseball? On a baseball field twice a week. On a baseball field. Twice a week. Right, next. Go swimming. Where do you go swimming? In a swimming pool every Saturday. 
in a swimming pool every Saturday. Uh, next one, play basketball. Where do you play basketball? On a basketball court every evening. On a basketball court every evening. Next one. Play badminton. Where do you play badminton? On a badminton court once a week. On a badminton court once a week. Okay, next one, go cycling. Right. Where do you go cycling? On a cycle track every day. On a cycle track every day. Okay, so let's have a look at the next one. The sport do karate. Where do we do karate? In a dojo once or twice a month. In a dojo once or twice a month. Next one, do boxing. Where do you do boxing? Where do you do boxing? In a boxing ring every Friday. In a boxing ring every Friday. Next one. What do you do here? Go skiing. Okay, go skiing. Where do you go skiing? On a I on a ski slope once a month. On a on a ski slope. Once a month. Next one, play football. Where do you play football? On a football pitch three times a week. On a football pitch thrice a week or three times a week. Right. So you can play football, go skiing, do boxing, do karate. Go cycling, play badminton, play basketball, go swimming. 
Next one, play baseball. You can say go ice skating, metta skating, if there's no ice, obviously. Do exercise or you can say do weightlifting. Play golf, right? Kohe the golf play karane on a golf course. Where do you do weightlifting? In a gym. Or where do you exercise? In a gym. Go ice skating on an ice ring. Rink. Okay. And then on an ice rink. Okay. Play baseball on a baseball field. Go swimming in a swimming pool. Play basketball on a basketball court. Play badminton on a badminton court. Go cycling on a cycle track. Do karate in a dojo. Do boxing in a boxing ring. Okay. Go skiing on a ski slope. Play football on a football pitch. Right. Okay. Identify each sport and include a verb to make the sport collocations for each game. Fill the first column. Sport tekai devani column two columns. Where and how often fill karana mitrai. Hare abemankarna kutamakara so that it is easier for you. Right? So that now you understand that you should have collocations for sport. And ekiti ene mukad the verb bekai sport tekai. Eto rapi te kiyan be go karate kiyala. Rapi kiyan do karate. I do karate. So you can say I do karate. I go swimming. Okay. I do boxing. I go skiing. Eto koto golo hariye te collocation neka purudu ena. Right? Right. So practice question three. Sports time. Write the action verbs in the box under the matching pictures. Okay. Then make it the kotogula to theer and all mukhadda pikaran no ne kiela. E vachane, then mahama, you can see which word is appropriate. Okay. So, first one um, catch a ball, kick a ball. Mm. Hit a ball, throw a ball. Um, right, so the fifth one is dribble a ball. Next one is bounce a ball. Next one is passable. Next one is score a goal. Next one is run, ski. Um, what can we say? This is, of course, drive. Okay. Tackle. It's tackle. This is um, skate. This is ride. Um, this is climb. Okay, so we are nearly finishing off everything. Next one is dive. Dive, say Next one is block. Next one is swim. 
and the last one is lift. Okay, so let's see the words. Okay, kick a ball, bole te gahana. Catch a ball, bole alla gahana. Hit a ball, bole te gahana. Throw a ball, kyaane bole visik karana. Dribble, kyaane basketball. You go like this, like this, like this, like you know, and they go up the legs like dribbling, or you can just go dribble. Okay. Bounce a ball, bole bounce when on. Pass the ball, bole pass karana tava kene to kakuleng when na pula, a thing when na pula, right? Score goal, usually when it's like uh, football, hari, ara score karane kata, bole ko homa hari giyot, e dala gata etunot, you get like a uh, score ka keno e goal le kata, right? So you say score goal, lakuna keno. Run dua nama, ski kiyane ski karane kata, ride bicycle e padi nama, Skate karanama, kareka kapi drive karanama, climb naginama, tackle karanama kiyane, and it can add podi wet to a dala bole kohomari taman tiaga, and it's kind of tackle the person, right? Mostly done, I think, in football, right? Uh, um, next one, oh, I haven't done that one. Next one is jump. Oh, I've forgotten that. Jump. Paninama, right? Jump. Long jump, dura paine kat. Dive, kimi denama, right? Um, next one, block. Block karana, bore dani ne, goda kar basketball vela karani. Swim, pee denama, lift, usudana, right? Okay, so, complete the sentences about sports with the action verbs from exercise, right? Equipment te kaad da, badu ad da, kenek da, nettang api andi ne kaad da, thenak da kiya ne ka hari, column me kaad da vachane da an no ne. Court is a place. Sen lankar na basketball court te ka. Umpire vinishya la baade na vinishya karo. Net te ka basketball vale hema tiye ne net te ka eka nettang oye. Basket ek bate ne nette ka thro. Netta ka apki aane hoya football hai ma nette ka rakwa ne kaha neka. Shorts kote ka lisa ma andi ne ka. Racket te ka ki aane table tennis. Netta ka tennis racket te ka. Pitch ka place se ka. Right. So shin pads are sportswear. Like kakula uh, tandi neva when you play football, like when you play cricket, you wear it on your legs, something like that, but a bit lower you would use it, right? Ice rink is a place. Ball is a equipment. Pool is a place. Bat teka equipment teka. Referee also a villa apita taranga vinishche la baad ene kenek. Umpire ene cricket wala but you have referees in basketball matches, right? Trunks is like a pair of shorts, a boxer short. Helmet andi ne kak is an equipment. Helmet. Boots is sportswear. T-shirt is sportswear. Stadium tanak. Players play karana katia. Right? So let's have a look at the pronunciation. Coat. Umpire. Net. Shorts. Racket. Pitch. Shin pads, ice rink, ball, pool, bat, referee, trunks, helmet, boots, t-shirt, stadium, players. Right? Okay, practice question four. Sports equipment. Match the sports equipment to the pictures and write the vocabulary. 
දැන් අපි දන්නවා equipment තියෙනවා කියලා. Now I want you to visualize it. එතකොට පේනවා ඔයගොල්ලන්ට මොන මොන equipment තියෙන්නේ කියලා එවට කියන නම් හරියටම pitch එකකින් පේනවා. So this one is a racket. Okay. This one is a helmet. Um <clears throat> this one is a net. This one is a saddle. Ashwaya padina kota api saddle ekak thamai daanne. Ashwaya matha saddle ekak daala eka deka thamai indagena kakul deka daanne, right? This one is a t-shirt. Sorry, jersey. Jersey. Actually it's something that you wear more than equipment, right? This one is um glove all the gloves this one is skates make a elastic and puck so this one is a golf stick or we call it a club this one is a ball these ones are goggles api swimming hai me ana kota and inne goggles and what we play badminton is called a shuttlecock right so let's have a look at the pronunciation racket helmet net saddle jersey glove the glove neve right so don't say glove it's a glove the glove skates is skate neve right so here look when you don't say the sound properly it's going to tell my watch any valid here to pronounce when so listen carefully and pronounce it right it's not is it's is kiwame is so look at my mouth movement right is but it's i'm just saying i e when in it right skits stick and puck club ball goggles shuttlecock sh sound shuttlecock okay right so with that we move on into the next one okay which sports equipment above can be used with each sport hare american football now we would need um glove ball jersey okay tennis ball what else do we need um for tennis yeah net we would also need the net right so we would also need um a racket right so for golf we would need the golf stick or the club okay so for skiing also you would need the skis right na metana skis na but you could definitely think about um the goggles or the helmet okay so goggles we usually put on the goggles and then go right horse riding saddle ice hockey well tap it on in a stick and puck football we would need a ball volleyball also we would need a ball um what else is there yeah glove for football where they catch the scorer ice skating we would need um skis right um skates sorry you need skates sorry skates skiing they mean ice skating basketball ball 
badminton net shuttlecock okay right so practice question 5 exercise and sports quiz complete the 15 sentences with the words in the box athlete play karana sellan karana kena first place palaveni sthane race tharange starting line patanganna thana trophy trophy e kiyana dinana cup eka hari mona hari eka coach purudu karana kena Gold medal, run pa dakkama. Score, apila baga at the score weka. Swimming pool, pihinum tataka. Volleyball, kridava. Finish line, avasane, uh, avasane karalangunam avasane ira, right? Ivara karnathana, game maker. Olympics, stadium, kiyane apiyam kisi kridava akti in the stadium maker. Team, weights. Right? Me hame ka kama dala tene noun kya ne nama pada verbs kya ne kriya pada samahara keva coaching keyword kriya pada akhadi de vada karan puluang coach keyword nama pada akhadi de inna puluang sometimes they coach people okay so ito kota verb beka so some of these could be a noun or a verb ito kota n sahavi de kama dala tia right Okay, many athletes lift heavy blank to make themselves become stronger. So they lift heavy weights. A blank is a person who can help an athlete become better. I think it's a coach, right? Metana vachanatika dala tiyanu agolanta then teeru ma kiera dira tiyanu dana tiyanu. The Summer Olympics. Olympics kira dhanne mukadeke every four years tiyana hinda. 50,000 people sat in the stadium. I was the last person to cross the finish line. Tima kena. My daughter ran really fast and won the race. Some people prefer to swim in an indoor swimming pool. Football is an example of a team sport. Right? Third place, second place are okay but I want to win the first place. Make a maroon hair. A Hinda Singhala translations go da kone, right? There were hundreds of people gathered at the marathon starting line. Atangana dana. Next one. We were very happy to see our team score. The first goal. Michael Phelps won 18 Olympic gold medals. More than anyone else in history. And blank is any person who plays a sport that involves running, jumping or throwing. An athlete. Our school has won many large trophies. It's just one of many sports that uses a ball. Volleyball. Right? So, should be really easy for you. Then, choose the best answer. Which of the following nouns best describes the word athlete? Athlete kiyane person kenik. Which of the following things is the smallest? Tennis ball, soccer ball, golf ball, bowling ball. Golf ball lega tamai podimu chuti ekak. Which of the following sports do people usually play on a field? Field lega ka sellang karane mokad the samaneng. Soccer. 
Which of the following nouns best describes the word gym? Gym me ka kya ne? Thanak. It's a place. Which of the following animals might enjoy hang gliding? Hang gliding word to badat kya mati ka oda? Hang gliding is like you glide through, right? That would be definitely a bird. Which of the following verbs best describes a marathon? It's basically running. Do one ekka. Which of the following words best describes the word score? Score ke na thaman labaga na nam bekaak. So that would be a number. Which of the following best describes a silver medal? Gold medal pratham istane silver. Kya na ridi padakkam devan istane. Tungwen istane tham bene loka na padakkam a bronze medal. So it would be the second place. Which of the following things do you need to go skating? Right? Ice, a ball, snow, water, you would need ice to go skating. Okay. Which of the following exercise or sports does not need water? Scuba diving will turn it, surfing will turn it, swimming will turn it. Skydiving will turn it because you jump obviously uh, from a plane or like um, a moving object in the sky, right? So that's skydiving. Which of the following is not a team sport? Hockey is, football is, baseball is, boxing. Right? Which of the following words does not describe a kind of person? Coach, referee, kenek, teammate, trophy, awards, cups. Right? Which of the following activities do people usually do on a track? Right? You run fast on a track. Um, you watch baseball. You don't really watch baseball on track. You could play a team sport. You could kick a ball on a track. Watch baseball. Okay. Which of the following words best describes the word yoga? Yoga is actually a form of exercise. So I would say exercise. Okay. Right. So I think we've done some good activities right on the term watch another theorem a theorem and a video to go on the matching activities kara godak so that's what we need when we are doing a vocab lesson may lesson nikki nouns verbs with chuttak balua api pavit chikarana equipment uh it the quarter minis soon to the anam andina samaharak deval thang eva hunda to balua eat a amatarava over on to action skill adonna Especially verb bekai, sport tekai, karana thana, uh, how often etikat ogolonta balla tieni. So I think we've done a solid vocab lesson. So with that, we come to the end of this lesson exercise and sports. Mm -hmm.